Hello. Hello, my darling. Hello, my honey. Hello. Good evening. How are you today? Much better. Yeah, you sound you yes. sound much better. <laughs> yes. That's good. Good to hear. I'm glad to hear that. It's really good. Just getting ready for the class to start. Hmm. I think this one will work. <laughs> okay, how many are we? So we're five. Good evening, Adita. How are you? Fine, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> I'm sorry for the not not. Ah, mm -hmm. Sorry for missing. For, for missing yesterday. Excellent. Sorry for missing yesterday. Sorry for missing the previous days. It's okay. Are you okay? Were you sick? Um, uh, for the siempre, teacher. Forever. <laughs> then um, you say you say a very common um, a very common saying of gringos. Same old, same old. Same old. Um, um, I have. Very much headaches. A lot of headaches. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. You say same old, same old. Same old. Mm -hmm. Same old, same old. Can you say? Can we say as usual? Uh, it's always the no. usual. The usual stuff. It's it's just the usual stuff. Okay. That's another way. Good job. Well, I'm glad to have you back. Okay, Kenya, how, how did you, how, how did it go with your sickness? How's it going? Mm, it's almost the same for me, um, but I think I'm not, uh, I'm not getting fever, you know, all those things is just, yeah, like getting better every day and at the same time feeling really sick, but it's okay. I mean, I can live with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. How are you? That. How are you? I'm doing great. Can complain. <laughs> Can complain. Okay, what about the rest? How are you guys, Anaselmi? How are you doing with the COVID or cold? I am better, teacher. Compared to yesterday, I feel better. That's awesome. It's good to hear. Thank you. Okay, so tonight uh, we have to do a presentation actually to work together in a topic, but I don't want to bore, bore you with this topic. So um, we will read something and just come to the front and, you know, participate later. later. Um, I'll share with you later a video that will help you improving your English with some simple phrases that are very common in English. And, and I like to um, use these phrases a lot. Well, n not specifically in a daily basis, but um, and those are very, very common things. For example, how do you greet? How do you greet people? Typically on every English class, they tell you to say, how are you, right? Okay, how are you? That's so common, right? But what I like to say, for example, is, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Okay, how's it going? Now, try to have you repeating that, but just by your own, try to repeat. So you say, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? 
How's it going? How's it going? Okay. Next, we have long time no see. Hey, long time no see. Long time no see. Which means you haven't seen this person in a while, you know, and you you just let them know, right? Hey, long time no see. So by logic, if you don't know what this person has been doing, then you can use the present perfect and ask, what have you been up to? Now, there are two ways of doing this. And the most common, the most practical one will be to, um, how do we say this, to uh, contract, contract the auxiliary, right? Which you have learned. What, 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 like that, what? What, what, what you've been up to? What you've been up to? What you've been up to? So it's the same thing, but you're just contracting the auxiliary like this. Hold on. Okay. What have what what have you been up to? What have you been up to? That have doesn't sound really right. What you've been up to? Hey, what have you been up to? What you've been up to? What you've been up to? what you've been up to. So again, how's it going? Oh, it's going pretty well. Hey, long time no see. Yeah. Yeah, like two years, right? Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. What have you been up to? Oh, I got married. Really? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Congratulations. Well, I got divorced. That's good too. Congratulations, right? What about you? What you've been up to? Um, not too much. Same old, same old. Same old, same old. Okay. Now, how do you reply to this as well? The way I did it with Kenya. Um, how's it going? Eh, can complain. Also, we can say it's good. Cool. It's good to see you again. Hey, yeah, good to see you again. But that that's like saying that's like saying goodbye. Really? Yeah, that sounds like right, Kenya. What do you think? Understand me? Yeah, that's like saying. Oh, okay. Hey, good to see you again. Oh, it's good to see you again. It's like saying, "Hey, don't get lost." Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me see. I have some more. When somebody tells a joke. You know, when somebody tells tells you a joke, uh, for example, what I was telling you, right? Hey, how's it going? Um, can't complain. What you, what have you been up to? Oh, I got married. Really? Yeah, and I got divorced. Really? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, and that it's a joke, right? So you can you can say, Hey, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. You understand that point? Okay. Another phrase you can say is like something like, you got me. Hey, you got me there. Okay. Okay. To say thanks. Typically when somebody gives you a gift or does a favor to you, you say thanks, right? Hey, thanks. Thank you very much. So real Americans, um, they try to use more phrases like, um, that's very kind of you. That's very kind of you. Oh my God, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Sounds better, right? Sounds more natural. That's the whole point to sound more natural. If, let's say, um, you didn't need that, for example, or you don't need it anymore, you can say, oh, thank you anyway. Thank you anyway. I don't need it, not anymore. Thank you anyway. 
Got it? What's the meaning of thank you anyway? How do you translate that in Salvadorian or Spanish? Como gracias de todas formas. Yeah, gracias de todas formas. When you close an email and you're asking for a favor, when you're asking for a favor, teacher, today I feel I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you, Wendy. Don't worry. It's okay. Hope you get well. So when you um, when you write an email, when you type an email and you send it to corporate, let's say and you're asking for something to be done and you expect for that to happen, you close the email before your signature with thank you in advance. Thank you in advance. Sincerely yours or regards, comma, Rosalena. That's it. Okay, thank you in advance. Oh, you you are anticipating, anticipating, or you you are sure that the other person uh, help you. You are demonstrating your expectation for things to, to happen. Yes, expectation is, mm -hmm. is yes, it, yes. The you're you're, you're like is, demonstrating. Uh, gracias you... de forma anticipada, ¿no? Agradeciendo su ayuda. Mm -hmm. Sounds like Something that. Something like that. Um, gracias de antemano. Mm. That, that's it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. that's, that's like the most common translation, let's say. Okay. Now, um, let's say you ask me for help and I cannot help you. I will say no. Then you say, oh, that's too bad. No, no, right. You say, no worries. Oh, no worries. No worries. No problem. It's like a relief for the other person. Okay. Okay. Uh, moving on. You didn't understand what I was explaining. So you could say, did I get you right? Did I get you right? Did I get you right? Um, you said that you're sick, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Did I get you right? You said that this means that da, 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 da. you explain a little bit more yourself. So, um, okay. If you mention something that hurts somebody else, okay. You can say, don't take it to heart. You may have heard this 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 phrase. Y quizá pensaron que decía hard, strong. No. Don't take it to heart. No, don't take it to heart. Don't take it to heart. It's like, don't keep it for yourself. It's not with you. It's not like el Rio Stapacho, right? The same thing. That That's the meaning. Hey, don't take it to heart. I'm not talking about you, don't worry. No, don't take it too hard. What what's the meaning in Spanish? Somebody. No lo tomes a mal. Excellent, yeah. No lo tomes a mal. No clavation. That's no te claves. Uh -huh. <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. How, how do you say when some when you don't understand something, what, what can you tell the teacher? Can you repeat? Can you repeat? That's very common, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. Something else, guys. Come on. If you don't understand something, excuse me, teacher. Will you repeat the question, teacher? Will you please? repeat the question? Repeat, please. Right, that that's like very basic, but natural English. Excuse me, um, teacher, I didn't catch the last word. I didn't catch the last word. 
Excuse me, teacher. I didn't catch the last word. I use this in a daily basis. Every day, you know, when I'm on a call, sometimes, well, I don't take calls now, but when I'm on calls, um, I use that a lot. I'm so sorry. The line is breaking up. The line is breaking up. I'm catching every other word you say. I'm so sorry. The line is really bad. We have a bad connection. I'm catching every other word you say. What's the meaning of that? Remember that every other means una sí, una no, una sí, una no. So how often do you get paid? Mm -hmm. What's the frequency of your payment? Every other week, <laughs> every other week. Or some companies now in El Salvador are paying every other Friday. You got it? Okay, so I'm catching every other word you say. Okay, We're, we have a bad connection teacher. I'm catching every other word you say. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Sorry, I wasn't listening. That's very simple. Um, nah, that's too grushy. I, I have an ex-girlfriend on YouTube, you know. I'm just kidding. Okay, so when I explain you again and you got the idea, you could go like, oh, that. That explains it. I don't like this too much, but it makes sense. Oh, that, that explains it. Listen, oh, that, that explains it. Or my way, which I prefer, um, I got it now. I got it now. Now it'll make sense. Now it all makes sense. I got it now. Now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. I got it now. Now it all makes sense. Got it? You say, got it. When somebody asks you, got it? You say, got it. 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 Okay. Got it. Um, and last one. Let's, just, let's stay with this one for tonight. Sorry to bother you. When you go to your boss office, you start with this phrase. Excuse me, boss. Uh, sorry to bother you. Sorry to bother you. And more advanced, um, if you didn't understand something, beg your pardon. The whole phrase is, I beg your pardon, but that sounds rude. If you add the subject, just keep, mind this, mind this, I beg your pardon, it's a question, okay? You can also say, beg your pardon, And lastly, very short, you can also say, pardon? Repeat, pardon? So don't say pardon, no, pardon, pardon, okay? Beg your pardon, beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? Sounds different, right? Like too rude, okay? If you call me fat, teacher, you're fat, I beg your pardon, right? Okay. Lastly, remember, intonation is very important when you speak English. Okay. Sorry to bother you. No, right? I'm sorry to bother you. I have a problem. Maybe. Intonation. That's very important. 
en 17 años no he escuchado a un gringo que no entone sus palabras, que no demuestre sus, cómo se siente en el momento cuando habla. So, it's very important. Right, Kenia? Sí. <laughs> They're very expressive. Now, all of these uh, expressions are on the video that I'm sharing with you right now on the, on the WhatsApp. That's my ex-girlfriend. Okay. I'm just kidding. But it's funny. I, I like to say that to my um, students when I'm teaching. You know, it's a joke. Like when I play Katy Perry or teach something with a song, you know, and Katy Perry comes on the on the screen, I go like, eh. we got separated because I used to call her Katy and she hated that. It's Katy. Katy. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. And look, and look what I did to Adele. Look what I did to Adele. She was uh, chubby, you know, and she went underweight because we broke up. So I get that effect. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I love joking with that. Okay. Tonight. Did I do the attendance? No. No, no yet. No. Kill me, please. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just can't believe it. I just can't help believe it. I haven't done the attendance. It's just that I love talking to you guys. Okay, hold on. Uh, tonight is Wednesday, the 16th. Okay, let's go really quick. Ada Patricia Linares Gandames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Not here tonight yet. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present. Okay. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Not with us. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Okay. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Kenia Michela Arasayas. Present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina, Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. She's there. Okay. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present teacher. Present. Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> I got you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. He said he wasn't going to be here. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. She's a little bit sick. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. I got you, Wendy. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. COVID. That's a topic for a whole class. So tonight we got to talk about core elements, sketch and sketch a proposal. State core elements and sketch a proposal for CSR. In other words, you have to Number one, learn, understand what you need to create a corporate social responsibility program. Again, it's corporate social responsibility program. Corporate social responsibility program. Um, stick these words. So core elements that you need to include on in a corporate social responsibility program. There are many. To be honest with you, there's a lot of things that you need to um, understand and apply if you are starting a, a program. Can you imagine your boss telling you, you know what, Rosalina, we need to create a corporate social responsibility program. Our company has grown. You know, we are a big company now. I think we, we have to create a program like this. What can we do, Rosalina? So basically there are four elements of corporate social responsibility that you may want to consider. Where to start? Well, as I explained you before, I'll be brief on this. As I explained you before, the key element of the corporate social responsibility programs are the employees of the workplace. I mean, Employees are the key. If you involve your employees on the on the program, 
they are the ones that will collaborate to make it happen. So what employees need, it sounds awful. Let's say it sounds odd, strange, rare, weird, synonyms um, to say this, but yeah, mental health support. How can you support your employees men with mental health regarding a program? I mean, any ideas? Okay, this is uh, to talk about two, two, two sides, right, of the coin. Number one, um, at the workplace, you know, mental health support refers to have a psychologist on site. Believe it or not, having a psychologist is a good thing. They can start a training about how to feel better in your work running service, running service for people to feel distressed, let's say, avoiding stress. Hey. Teacher, hi. Uh, it's possible, uh, some companies have um, programs when training about uh, manage the stress uh, or how you, uh, for example, when it start the pandemic, um we receive um um training about how they manage this this situation because the the stress was uh, up and in another situation was when you start to work uh, you know start uh, the the home office for example because you pass more uh, you spend time with your family. Uh, it, this this relation this uh, relationship uh, uh, long relationship uh, uh -huh. was uh, was uh, a stress for some, some sometimes people. it becomes stressful. I used to joke with my kids. I remember during the quarantine, uh, because I, I, like in the second month. I was like, I think I'm starting to like you guys. Creo que me empiezan a caer bien. Like, <laughs> it's it's funny, mm -hmm. but yeah, you don't spend so much time with with your family in reality in today's world. You don't know your kids. You don't know your husband. Actually, now that you mentioned that, Carla, there were there was an increase on divorces. Yes. Right. That was crazy. Yeah. And there was an increase on babies as well. <laughs> Which is the other side. That's better, right? Than having divorces. It's so funny. But yeah, good things, bad things happen with the pandemic. That's a good point. Thank you, Carla. Okay. Suitable. Suitable. Hey, suitable. Suitable. It's not suitable. Suitable. No. Suitable. Working conditions for those with disabilities suitable working conditions for those with disabilities what do you understand by that wheelchairs crutches the, when you the environment oh. the environment at the at the office for example the temperature there. Mm. Oh, yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Said, I think I I think that is when when the company don't permit that you take a disability when you are sick. Mm. No. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Those with disabilities, somebody's in a wheelchair, and your company the has facilities. three three floors, but there's no elevator. The facilities sure. of the company could be needs. could be is a um, good condition or, or able condition to to these people. Mm -hmm. Fair conditions for these people for these employees. If there's a someone one person with a wheelchair, 
that person will need many things. The ramps, ramps to access the facilities, elevators if there's more than one floor, and guess what? A special bathroom, a spaced mm -hmm. bathroom just for him, okay, or her. It's very important. And so on, right? So many other disabilities that someone may have. Okay, diversity and, in and inclusion, we, we have talked about it. No discrimination at work, uh, having more women than men or vice versa, that's that's in the past, okay? In fact, I was watching a, a Nike commercial for, for the World Cup. Yes. And, and they said it's awesome and everything. I noticed, I think I saw a girl playing football. Yes. Yeah. yeah, right? There's a girl. Yeah. And two I, girls. Two girls. And I thought, man, why why don't they allow this, you know, the soccer game to have female and men? I mean to have both sexes, you know, playing on the same on the same team. And can you imagine having on Barcelona two or three women playing? Amazing women, of course. They they will need to qualify, right? Wow playing with men i mean why not that would be great okay so that's diversity inclusion i guess okay supportive environment and policies for departments supportive environment and policies for parents i'm sorry for parents hmm <clears throat> now this this is important as a father, I'm telling you, as a father, as a parent, um, something that I have experienced in two or three call centers in my 17 years in that line of business, and that I have appreciated a lot, is when they did uh, the Kids Day, you know, Children Day. Is it October 1st, I think? Yeah. They um, do like a party, you know, for the kids. If you have kids, you can take them to the party, have pintacaritas, have clowns, you know, special meals for them, piñatas. And they love it. I mean, and it's a special detail for them. Also, I loved once when I was working at Dell, um, uh, the Ubiquiti, or what is it? Uh, Converges, I think now. Um, <clears throat> they had this day of taking your kid to work. So I took my oldest kid. It was a great day because he saw the office. I mean, everything was noisy, big, you know. He was making questions, wondering what they did there. That was a good experience. And teaching him how to disassemble a computer <laughs> was funny as well. So having your family approaching your company that's another way that's a plus now there's something that is not mentioned here but in call centers you can see it a lot as well i don't know even your companies you do you have do you have an on-site clinic anybody do you have seguro social in your office in my case yes there is an there is a clinic but it's not from the in the Seguro? Seguro Social. <laughs> yeah. Really? yeah, it's just a clinic that they have in the company. Mm -mm. That's weird. So that's a private clinic? Um, I think so. Uh, they are referring to... To the East? To the Seguro Social. Yeah. So yes, mm -hmm. yes, it's, a, it's an on-site clinic. It's just that, yeah, they're private doctors, but in the end, if you need medicine, if you need special exams, they will always refer you to El Seguro. That's why you have Seguro Social. But the treatment is faster. That's funny. If you have that, they treat you faster. Okay, let's go with the environment. Green initiatives. Remember that we're talking about elements of the corporate social responsibility. Before you start this, you have to consider these four elements. Um, green initiatives is like very common in many companies nowadays. Recycling facilities, they, they must have. And this is very common in call centers. Again, I don't know in other companies, but it's common to have a garbage bin for each type of 
um, trash, right? It's type of waste. They have different colors and the symbols, you know. Sustainability policies. Sustainability policies, this refers to not wasting water, not wasting electricity, right? I remember when I when I was working um, on the graveyard shift from 12 midnight to 8 a.m., we used to turn, they, they used to turn off the lights. And if you go around Salvador del Mundo and you see the buildings, the Centro Financiero Gigante, if you see that those buildings at night, you will see just one or two floors with the lights on. That's because people was working there, even really late at night. Okay, um, giving back to the local environment. Can somebody explain that point, that bullet point? What do you understand that, by that? Giving back to the local environment. No. Have you noticed, again, Centro Financiero Gigante around Salvador del Mundo? Do you like it? Is it all concrete? Is it all concrete around the buildings? No, right? Have you seen the bushes? They, they recently changed the fences, the fences surrounding the buildings. They recently changed it for bushes, and it looks beautiful. A whole lot of bushes around it. There's like a garden in front of it, some palm trees, you know, so they take care of your surrounding environment. Um, in the company, that's important too. And related to that, we have community supporting local area initiatives. This refers to being a good neighbor being a good neighbor, as a neighbor, you can help your neighbor, right? You must help your neighbor, have friends in your uh, neighborhood. That's important. So the same happens with businesses. Creating internal clubs and societies. How do we call this in, in, in El Salvador? Although here is mistreated. I mean, if you belong to, um, um, how do we call these groups of social workers? In El Salvador. Oh my God, I forgot the name in Spanish. Oh my God. If you're in this group, you can complain about the company and the salary and everything. Gremios? Mm, there's another word. Is it a gremio? My God, I have it on my, the, the, the point of my tip. Um, Top of my teeth. I can't remember. Oh my God, I, I won't be able to sleep tonight if I don't remember that word. It's not a gremio, it's something else. How do you call a gremio de trabajadores? Don't remember. Okay. And that's what it refers to internal maybe, groups. Maybe, I, I think, una asociación de desarrollo comunal, ladies. Um, yeah, that's part of it. That will be an external club, but inside the job, when multiple employees come together and they create a group. Labor union, teacher. Is, in Spanish? Sindicato. 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 That's the word. <laughs> that's the word. Yes. Is labor what? Understand me? Labor union. It's a labor union. Sindicato de Trabajadores. That's right. Labor union. Unit. So that's that's part of it. Uh, now here in El Salvador, man, there are some of these groups that they are actually a cancer for companies. And I'm telling you this with all my experience. I have seen that um, super rápido. Alguien que busca trabajo lo contratan y a los dos meses quiere empezar a hacer su santo gusto y lo despiden porque faltó tres días no consecutivos al trabajo sin explicación, viene alguien el abogado de este gremio y dice no la puede despedir nada más porque ella es síndico de el grupo y si la despide tiene que reconocerle tres años de salario I mean she was working two months and this is a real case and you can go to court that's oh man, that's so 
awful situations that happen on pymes. This only happens in pequeña y medianas empresas in El Salvador, small and medium businesses. It's crazy. So, moving on, supportive social networks. Um, when you are part of these programs, you these people becomes your family. When you're really integrating these uh, corporate social responsibility programs, you really feel like a family thing, you know. You're always supporting them, even out of the job, which is amazing. Easy to use internal comms, comms processes. Um, and this refers to the community itself. If somebody wants to apply to benefits that the company provides to others, external or internals, um, they must follow some steps, right? But those steps must be easy to follow. Um, really quick, let me give you an example of a cooperative that I, I created in 2005. I was working at a, a place importing tires, a family business, and and the owner, the owner of the company, I don't know if you will feel, you will feel um, identified with these examples, and as only um, Rosalina, Carla, I don't know, but the owner of this PME, this small medium business, had a problem, and I noticed it because I was the the assistant, right? So we were in a meeting, and this John guy, who was a salesman, he was a salesman, approached him, asking him for money to pay the university. And he was like, oh, come on again, you're asking me for money again. Last month I gave you money, and you barely paid it with your salary. And now again, next month you will come and ask for more money, right? So he said no. No, 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 no. I'm so sorry. And the guy was like, come on, I, I promise you, I will sell more. I will cover the quota. No. Man, the guy, the, the John guy left almost crying because he really needed the money to pay his university. So I told him, hey, why don't we create a cooperative, you know, of employees and everybody gives money to it and then we make the money flow if you need money you can borrow money but with an interest and at the end of the year we split the the earnings right that was an amazing idea and he looked at me and said okay do it and I'm like uh, okay <laughs> so i started the cooperative that that's that's the way things work on a family business guys it's it's funny. I mean, but anyways, it worked, and we started. We even started a despensa familiar, um, in in the company. You know, so all the employees used to buy beans, rice, the basic things, eggs. You know, and we had Mercado La Tiendona right in front of the company. So I you I used to go get the things, you know, and sell them. It was so amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean. In teamwork, uh, in my workplace teacher, mm -hmm. um, we began the association of employees. And um, it just required, um, required formal activities because an, an it's account. necessary a good organization. In in our case, uh, our function are honors for on is right, teacher. Is an honorable no payment. Yeah, there's no payment, so it's an it's honorable function. Honorable function, but um, we have benefit because. We uh, in in our payroll, mm -hmm. uh, there are discount for our saving for our saving for your savings exactly er earnings. exactly. But yes, the, the employee agrees to a certain amount every year. You have to start 
Okay, and I said me how much money are you going to save on every payment? Um, ten dollars. So that's twenty dollars a month. Okay. Yeah. Now, it's called in at my the end case, of the year, the interest. Uh, it's split it. Uh huh. Yes, the, the because uh, with our um, money is the is um financial the different loans for the same employees exactly exactly but in my case that um percentage my air my my savings mis mm -hmm. ahorros mm -hmm. um i have the seven years i um my savings are the the, the objective my objective is the anticipate payment of the call of the school for the year for my son wow my saving in the in the in the association uh -huh. during the the year during the and year. Mm -hmm. For example, in October, I pay anticipated the school for the next year. In, in my case, it, it it's for a me, it's benefit. a big benefit because, yes, yes because it's less stress, <laughs> financial stress for the You, you know, I, I, never, I never forget. It, it's only, yes. Uh -huh, finish your sentence go ahead no in in my case is is i i have benefit because my discount is direct of the pay the payroll and i don't have the money <laughs> yeah but, you don't count you don't count on that money uh, the money yes in the money has a specific Objective in my case, a specific purpose. Uh, totally. Only for the association, for association of employees, totally. we have the 40, 40 members. Man, 40 members. That I I never I never forget the face of the employees when I first um, shared the earnings you know what happened because i i issued the checks and the, the the account the bank account was under my name so i issued the checks for each one of them so if you were saving 20 dollars yes, a month in our case there was a percentage of the earnings yes and, in and our then, case is the formal association teacher because we have the the board of members and we have a representative, the legal representative. Exactly. And in the bank, the association has the account bank, not the, the person. Not, not one person. The pri private and each loan has a specific level of authorization. Yes. That that's true. I mean, no, depending on bad. how much money you borrow. It's a lot of work, teacher. It's a lot, a lot of, work. of work. Yeah, in my case, they were about fifty-five or fifty-six employees. And what what I want to I would just want to finish this idea telling you. I mean, it was an amazing experience when I gave them the money, the checks, because most of them were like, "Wow!" So I, I wait. I saved two hundred dollars, and you're giving me other than that. $70 on top of my 200. They were like, wow. So you know what? For next year, I'm going to save $50 every month. <laughs> like what? A lot of money. Okay. So that's the whole idea. The Cucheval. Cuche, cucheval. Cucho, cuchuval. Cuchuval. Right? Cuchuval. Cuchuval, teacher. I don't know cuchuval. where the name comes from, you know, but. How did you play, teacher? I don't like it. it. I don't like it because. It's not fair, you know, when they raffle, 
when they do the raffle, who's going to go next and next, you know, and, and I... every, everybody wants to be at last. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or first or first. The problem is when you, you are the, the first, uh, you, 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 it is, you, you feel a long time to finish it. Yeah. And when you are the last one, it is, it is, it is nice because. <laughs> You yeah, because you have, you have been saving money, huh? You feel like you have been saving money. Now there's a risk. There is a risk, right? On that sense, a because it's, it's informal. If you're first, you can go like, "I'm not paying the cuchivana anymore," right? That's not okay. Okay, and there are many things we can talk about. And lastly, we have social issues. Social issues. What social issues can you have for? a corporate social responsibility program, charity day policies. Um, okay, there are some days that you cannot do charity, believe it or not, at least in the States, there are days that you cannot- Voluntary do day, teacher. Voluntary work days, yes. Uh, there are days voluntary in which- work day, yes. Yeah, you cannot permit your employees to do charity on those days, exactly. Fund raising. Look at this word, fund raising. Some people say fund raising. No, fund raising. And it, it's a compound word, fund, okay, money, raising, increasing. Now, this is a trend, fund raising activities. In the States, in Facebook, on Facebook, I'm sorry, on Facebook and many social medias, people is like, okay, you know what? Um, me, for example, I have a 1978 Volkswagen, I'm a teacher, and I used the car, this is me like one year ago, and I used the car for jumping from class to class, you know, helping people. Sometimes I have to go to Soyapango and then to San Salvador and be moving, right? So I'm, I'm doing a fundraising, and please support the fundraising. This is my account number. If you want to support me, this is the account number. It's a volunteer thing, is a willingness thing, you know, and there's people who raise a lot of money. But of course, it all depends on the on the on the reason why you're creating this fundraising. Supporting charities that already exist. Many companies go with this. You know, it's like the safest way to to fund to to uh, give money is supporting existing charities for example club rotario I, I understand that club rotario is some sort of uh, association you know where you can give your money and there are many others um i i remember club, I the club de leones club de leones right no. i remember there were some piggy banks some piggy banks in some companies of the fundacion ayudame vivir I don't know if that's still going. Hunter. Hunter. Example. Right. And so many others. Okay. Now, raising awareness about social issues that are important to employees. This is important. I mean, in the end, the whole goal is to, is this, to raise awareness about social issues that are important, not just for employees, but for society. In the end, what corporate social responsibility programs look for is to support society. Simple as that. So tonight we're going to implement um, another dynamic, which will be very simple. Um, I don't want to go through a lot of work, put you to do a whole schema, you know, and a presentation. If you want to do a presentation, it's up to you. It's okay. By the way, this is our 20th class. Tonight is our 20th class. We only have Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, five days, and we're done with advanced two. Okay, so uh, there is an excerpt. How many are we? We are 12. Oh, good. So we are 12, there's an excerpt that I found and I like very much. 
about how to launch, okay? It's not launch, <laughs> how to launch a corporate social responsibility program. And these are the steps from one to seven, okay? And we're going to split the job in, let me see, because some of you are working when this is disabled, let's say, she's on disability. I think Gloria is working. I'm not sure if Nelson is working too. So let's say, you know what? I'm going to do three groups. It's seven points, so two topics, each one of you, and we leave the last one. Um, stay connected. Just solo acuérdense, es muy importante que den su idea general del, de la presentación. Hacer una presentación de dos a cinco minutos, no es nada difícil. Y leer um, entre líneas, ¿no? El punto es dar su idea general de cada uno de los pasos para que sus compañeros lo entiendan. Y eso sí lo quiero dejar claro, por eso estoy hablando en español. La disculpa del caso. No se trata de, de, de que se van a memorizar algo. No. Lean y comprendan. That's it. Y luego lo que han comprendido, explicarlo a sus compañeros sobre cada punto. So, eso está numerado del 1 al 7. Um, ahorita voy a dividir el grupo, pero primero voy a pasar la lista. Sorry. So, let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Presente. Adriana Stephanie Martínez Flores. Presente. Excellent. Ana Selmi Chévez. Presente. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Not here tonight. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Presente. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. No, no, no. Carla Here. Verónica Vázquez Rivas. Present, De Rivas, perdón. Ok. Kenia Michelle Arasayas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Excelente. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. She's still here. Thank you, Wendy. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, guys. Despite what I just told you, a pesar de lo que les acabo de decir, sí les suplico que den su mejor esfuerzo en todo lo que hagan siempre, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Y en este caso en particular, explicar lo mejor posible sus puntos. Let's see. Uh, let me see the groups. Patricia, Adriana, Kenia, Wilfredo, Ana Selmi, Carla, Nelson, Sandra, uh -huh. Wendy, Gabriela, Gloria, and Rosalina. Yeah, this is fair. This is fair enough. So, oh, okay. Bueno, las instrucciones están claras. Del 1 al 2. Sería el grupo 1, 2 y 3, grupo 2, 3 y, perdón, 5 y 6, grupo 3. Ahorita se los envío al WhatsApp. Let's go.
Eh, Wendy, si me escuchas, si se puede unir a, al grupito, porfa, solo para estar de oyente, se lo voy a agradecer. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> ¿Alguna pregunta con lo que vamos a hacer? If you can explain that, teacher. Yeah, it's on, it's on your chat. So, for example, just open the, the link. And if you scroll down, you can start reading the intro if you want. But, for example, your group number one, you need to study the two, the first two points. Define corporate social responsibility and understand the benefits to your organization. That's it. That's what you're going to explain. So if you scroll down, define corporate social responsibility. When companies practice corporate social responsibility, they are acting in a way that contributes positively to society. Da, 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 da. Okay? Ahora, eso tiene que ser en sus propias palabras. Sorry. Will. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, y luego, así, ¿no? Enti leo, comprendo, explico. That's it. Van a explicar. Lo importante quizás es comprender, que todos comprendan. Si se fijan en el segundo punto, understand the benefits to your organization. Hay otros cuatro subtemas, community impact, employee alignment, brand loyalty, and bottom line. So, se divide en el trabajo. ¿Quién me explicar qué? That's it. You got it? Okay. Got it. Make it simple in your own words. Okay, I'll be back. I'll be back. What's the topic? Your topics are <laughs> number three and number four. Get executive buy-in for the program. And number four, establish the baseline for your CSR program. <laughs> So, super quick. We'll get executed by for the program. So, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a leer, comprender y exponer lo que hemos entendido. Ahora, como grupo, Nelson, ¿qué vas a leer? Ah, voy a leer tal al lado, ¿te parece? Va, chivo. De Anasemi, ¿qué vas a hacer? Ah, voy, voy a leerte donde dice having the CEO hasta business. El cuarto are, párrafo. We are group three. Two. Sure. Okay. Yep, the chart is on your WhatsApp. And Selmi, Carla, Nelson, and Sandra. Group two. Yeah. Okay. Okay, your group topic, number two. The number three and Culture four. And. That's right. And. You got it. Questions? Culture and. No. Okay. Ah, the, the, the link, Sandrita. Link? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. Culture Thank you. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay, if you need me, you can send me a message through Zoom, okay? Totalize Corporation of Social Responsibility Program. To be short, mm -hmm. well, simple, mm -hmm. simple, it's a program in Canada. Yes. Right? Uh, mm -hmm. okay. uh, so, hello, you're doing number five, explore unique opportunities relevant to your mission. Yes. Number six, yes. how to measure the success of your program. Right? Yes. Got it. Okay, if you need me, you can send me a message through Zoom, okay? okay. And remember, okay. understand, divide the job, you know, which who's going to explain what, and yeah. then um, go to the front, explain to your classmates. That's all. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Compartir acá. Yes, I guess. Teacher. <laughs> La opción para compartir está habilitada. Ah, okay. La base de virus ha sido actualizada. Ah, no, perdón. La opción para compartir está habilitada. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's on your WhatsApp. You mean the link or can we share uh, the see. screen here? Yeah, you can share the screen here if you want, but make sure, okay. hold on. I just stopped you because we are seeing your email and that's not ethical. So, <laughs> yeah. 
try to share just the, the text that you have on the link. Okay, voy a estar acá en silencio, solo escuchándoles, if you need me, okay? Okay. Can you see my screen now? Okay, so this is the first one and this will be the second one that we have. Um, I don't know if someone would like to read or if we are going to read um, each one and then we can share our ideas maybe as you prefer. Yeah. Both points we have to we have to discuss and define corporate social responsibility and, and understand the, the benefits to your organization organization.
No, 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 no. no. Este, y, y, y luego tenemos que hacer como una presentación o solo lo vamos a comentar. Como quisiéramos, creo que quiso decir, podemos hacer Only presentación. The point is for your classmates to understand your point. That's all. Just con, right. Compartir el mensaje y que sus compañeros entiendan el mensaje. That's all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. No necessary presentation. Not needed. Give okay. yourself to understand. Remember that this is English, and that's all. Okay. We are already finished, teacher. Discussing the the points. Now we are having our ideas <laughs> with a logical <laughs> finding logic to what you are preparing. Yes. That's awesome. That's good. I'll yes. be here. If you need me, I'll be here. Okay. It's only this this is only an example. We have to we have to adapt it to our 
own words. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay. okay. The whole point is for your classmates to understand the message. Okay.
Sí. Sí, pero... But this, this topic, it is so interesting because I can see many companies that they are having this, this, um, this attitude to be responsible with the people, their own people or another people or environment. And then I guess that it is, it is good for them because maybe they they can get so customer or or get another another i brand for example Do you know what it means, this word? Mallory or mal Mallory? Yeah, it may be mistyped. Let's see. We could still be scrapping and build something over time that scale. It says Mallory is the last name of the person explaining for Mallory. When you're, if you move up, there is a, the author or whoever said that comment. Last name is Mallory. Last name. It's a last name. It's a name. Okay. Okay. 
El florero. Y este mes que este mes sí. Que la que se ve No me desee la nada, Will. Este Will, mira, Will. Las nalgas me están de pan, mira. Está bien, Ahora How do they do it? Y más barato que tener. Ya deben elevar el precio de las mascarillas, pa. Sí, van a comprar dólares. ¿Cómo quedaron? ¿Cómo quedaron? Well, right now I'm still trying to understand um, all of these points, each one, like the main, um, like the main idea. For example, in this one, community impact, basically. What they do with that, it, as it says, it's just, um, well, it's helping the families to save an increase in financial literacy rates. It's to improve. I'm not teacher. Todavía no entiendo. Me falta mucho por aprender. Come on. <laughs> it's like not um it it's complicated well i feel that way which part everything <laughs> i'm trying to understand <laughs> and it's really hard for me like what are they talking about employee alignment mm. Well, in this one, um, I think the main idea, it's like they're trying to, well, the company needs to retain the best talent globally, um, like meaning this main word. Now on this one. Bottom um, line. Mm -hmm. That's like the, the, in a few words. Bottom line. Of everything that you have said, in short, in a few words, in short, probably 73% of millennial consumers are willing to spend more on a product if it comes from a sustainable brand and 87%. So in other words, uh, yeah, people nowadays prefer companies that are in favor of the environment, let's say.
Yeah, basically, uh, as a customer, I mean, a corporate social responsibility programs. Remember that we talked about marketing yesterday, how it impacts your your brand. And so people will buy more products from you if they are related to your your corporate social responsibility program. They they think, oh my God, this company supports kids in Africa. This company supports. Um, studies, you know, they give scholarships to Salvadorians. I'll buy this program, this company's products. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> if you understand calls and you're, you're already taking calls, you understand your product, man, this is easy. Come on. Okay. Well, guys, it's time to go we have to start doing expositions let's go back okay Okay, so we're back. Uh, we need to follow the order of the groups, you know, group number one, group number two, group number three, because it's a topic that has a con uh, has a, um, a continuation, you know, after each topic. So you have two, three minutes, go straight to the point if possible, you know. So let's start with group number one, Ada Patricia, Adriana, Kenya, and Wilfredo. All yours. Teacher, and I understand a little, poquito, a little. Is the company in the number one, um, and the company take responsibility and the, and care about the well being of all of their operation and their employees. And so that they work in a suitable environment and the objective is reduce the negative impact. Okay. I understand. Perfect. That's defining corporate social responsibility. Mm -hmm. Anybody else from the group? Think Adita? Yes, teacher, continue the first point. Um, um, it's very important that company include wow. uh, in the programs um, ethical and responsibility. And also, um, this, this program, um, um, this program, this program have a good, good uh, action and based in people, the planet, and the benefit of profit and of the company and for, for best results. For best have results. For better results. Uh -huh, for better results. If you want to say to obtain better results, results results excellent okay next okay. 
Eh, todos tienen que hablar en el grupo, please. Well, I think I will provide my um, my point of view about the first one, uh, which is defined corporate social responsibility. Uh, basically, most of the companies when they are start, you know, like starting their business, um, like if they are not having these um, corporate social responsibility programs, um, as the text said at the beginning they will feel like this is not something that you know will help the company or maybe they are not doing anything with that with the programs now um, basically like the main objective that the companies are looking with these um, it's like creating a vision about um, economic social and Environment, environmental components. Now, this is in order to have everything, you know, in control, like measure. And well, that's just in order to improve the like a real impact on the society with customers and all that. So first point, basically, it's defining what it is uh, corporate social responsibility as the first point. Now, um, the second part, as it states, um, it's usually uh, understanding the benefits to your organization. Now, um, when the companies are trying to start a business, they have different um, like a steps that they need that they need to follow or they are following for um, getting an impact in know or you know in business basically uh, so as the main examples that we have it's community impact that is the first one um, as it says our purpose is to give back to the community and build a better tomorrow so it means that basically companies are trying to help the families and as well, probably financial uh, rates. Now, uh, the second one is employee alignment. Um, it's like, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I'm just trying to still understand this one. Uh, but basically, they're like uh, retaining the best um, talent globally. Um, I understand these like, I'm, I'm not pretty sure if I'm correct, but um, like getting, no, I'm not sure, sorry. <laughs> I will continue. Employee alignment is just to have employees involved on the activities of the program. It's like um, like trying to, to get a better performance with them to improve the company. Exactly. Okay. Look Got at it. the second second line. It says the studies show that happy, engaged, and purpose-driven employees are more productive and experience less turnover than competitors. In other words, employees don't quit. Employees don't quit their jobs if they feel appreciated and they feel motivated by these programs. Mm. Okay. That's all. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um... Maybe alignment I, is is alignment is a synonym of engagement. Mm, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the third one it was brand loyalty. Basically, and just simple words, it's uh, you know customers um, just preferred. The brand or the organization that is practicing social responsibility, or or how do you call that? Uh, oh my god! <laughs> Think about saying. millennials. Think about millennials. Look what it says. It says millennials expect their favorite companies to declare their corporate citizenship publicity. It's like they, we 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 expect our favorite companies. To be in favor of these programs, and we become loyal to them if they do. Hmm. <laughs>
Look at the last paragraph. 68% of global consumers will remain loyal to a brand if the organization practiced social responsibility. Loyalty. And the, the bottom line is it's like a resume, right? A small resume of, of things. The bottom line. <laughs> Just, um, the, um, it means that the customer, it's like prefer to to I'm just getting nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you getting nervous? Don't get nervous. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> so the last one, bottom line. Um, I got this idea like when like the videos that we were watching yesterday, um, with Samsung that they were having, uh, lanterns, light lanterns. I don't remember. Um, so they are using these like as a program for social corporate responsibility. <laughs> and basically what people do is to have like a preference on that brands um, that are taking care about the environment. Um, as an example, uh, yesterday I was watching the Coca-Cola was having um, like the package were recycled, something like that. And I said, uh, I will start buying more Coca-Cola from now because they are doing that. But um, this is just an example now. Uh, that's the last one that it, that it was bought online. So <laughs> Simple. thank you guys. Thank you, not a problem. Wilfredo, would you like to say something else? Mm, yes. And we were talking about that teacher that some companies tried to to give to the community, for example, some help uh, about to, to uh, talking about contrib contribution to to the um, desarrollar how do you say develop De develop some program to help to to community around to the company. For example, if I have a you have an owner of company and, and I try to help to and my employees, then their family, for example, making, for example, a meal for uh, canchas. Uh, field, soccer field, fields, basketball yes. fields. Soccer, yes. Then um, it is talking about community, but in a second point, in the, in the second point, to benefit it. Now, for example, uh, employee alignment. Uh, I get, I guess that it is uh, like a linear or engagement. Try to to give some. For example, when when a company has a, has have a, a this program program uh, responsibility, uh, social responsibility. Um, I guess that all employees they are going to be happy with the company. And talking about loyalty. We were talking with 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 my classmate that, for example, yeah, talking about some brand. For example, when 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 I was a child, I remember Lido. Ah, damn, because and in this time, I I remember when they start the social responsibility. The this company tried to to help to another people. Then uh, we, oh, for example, I. I may identify. I felt identified. I, I yes, with this company. And the last one, teacher, um, bottom line, I I I don't know, that, that, but that, I, that's I, a don't worry. That's just a, a resume of on the previous three points. No, bottom no. bottom line means, in short, in a few words, da, 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 it's just uh, resuming what you just said. I, yep, I, that's I, it. I don't know. Oh, okay. You got it. You got it. Hey, guys, I'm sorry. Time flies. But this was amazing. That was a good experience, a good explanation of the first two. So, señores, mañana seguimos con esto y en serio porque 
Les voy a decir algo. Eh, acabo de evaluar cuatro estudiantes. Muy bien. Dentro del reporte que tengo que enviar, eh, siempre lleno ese cuadrito donde dice comentario sobre el estudiante y su desempeño en la clase. Entonces, ahí voy llenándolos. Cuando les escucho hablar y esto me está sirviendo mucho. Chao. Para los afortunados que no han pasado ahorita, <ríe> yo no los voy a dar de sorpresa. Vuelvan a leer eso, denle una leyita mañana antes de la clase, porque ahí está el listado de, de alumnos, ¿verdad? Por grupo faltarían Ana Selmi, Carla, Nelson, Sandra y pues um, Wendy está enfermita, Gabriela, Gloria y Roselena que participen dentro de esta temática. Mañana seguimos con esto. Siempre nos deja así. Sorry. <ríe> Pero es que los vi tan entusiasmados practicando, entendiendo, y eso es un buen ejercicio. La comprensión dentro del inglés no es algo que se debe tomar a la ligera. Eso tiene que darse. Y entre más logres comprender temas complejos, más fácil serán los otros, ¿no? So, muy bien. Tonight I'm staying with um, Sandra Gladys Mendez. Is Sandra around? No, she got disconnected already. Susana is not here. Walter has a funeral. I'm so sorry. Wendy is sick. So, Wilfredo Guardado, do you have 10 minutes? Yep. Okay. I'll stay tomorrow with Wendy. Okay. Let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Thank you. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Good Thank night. You. Good night. Get better. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. She was here. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. I got you. Present teacher, good night. Excellent, good night. Kenya Michelle Arasayas. Present, good night. Good night. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, good night teacher. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina, Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good night. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez, Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte, still sick. Present no. teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, buddy. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, how's the facito? Ah, it's, we are celebrating also because <laughs> you're still no, celebrating. No, always, no, always. Hey, the, <laughs> the, so, teacher, when we talk about things, for example, mm -hmm. la sub 20, sub 16, and I, I don't know, but I, I was, I was watching uh, and face. The, the, la categoría 20, he, he won the, the 19th cup too. Yeah, that's what I was telling you before, right? The 19th cup. Yes. They won the 19th cup. They're going for the 20th. Yes. But it's really good. But what was it a good game? What was the, the final score? 2-0. Um, and but, but those were not penalties, right? Those were no, real no. goals, good goals. Yeah. Yeah, he he won in the um, 19, 19 minutes. But I guess that they, they play good and another team too, uh, Hokoro, because the other team. I never heard about Hokoro. Where are they from? Hey, teacher, I enjoy when the fans and the fast fans start to clap to another fans. When started they were, they clapping started, they started yes. clapping uh -huh. started clapping to another fans the Hokoro fans Hokoro's fans yes when they are arriving to the stadium when they were arriving when they were arriving, arriving. when they they where? they were arriving to the stadium okay. they, the fast fans to starting to clap but it is so so interesting I guess teacher I, I always dream 
uh, if the, um, the, for example, on TV, they or in social media start start to to um, to give, for example, recommendation to or or implement implement implementing mm -hmm. implementing, for example, go for example both fans together in the stadium to oh. prevent to mm -hmm. prevent to for example fight or problem during the match. But do you mean have putting them together, Paz and Kokoros? Yes. Fans? For example, in the the last finally, they um, both fans they they were watching the watching the match together. But in in um, the special area, for example, in, in Sombra Charm. Yeah. Uh, no, there there's a name for that. Even in Spanish, that's Palco, right? Palco. Yes. Yeah, but, the, the, yeah, they yeah. play. They didn't play in Santa Ana, right? No, or oh, oh, Hokoro? No, no, no. Uh, the the final game they didn't play no. in Santa Ana. They played it, here. It in... Was in, uh, yes, in Cusca. In the Cusca Park, yeah. Yes. Yeah, my my father-in-law was very excited watching the game and everything. <laughs> yes, but it was nice because. Ah. We always we on to somehow Rey Rey de Copas. How do you hear about that? About the uh, King King of Cups? Yes, King Cups of King? Cups. No. Or, 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 say El Rey de Copas. You know what? Yeah. Pal Palco is, is box. The presidential box. Yeah. Okay. Uh yeah. It was really exciting. And the World Cup is coming, right? Is it the day after yes. tomorrow? The day after Sunday. tomorrow? Sunday. Friday. Sunday. Sunday. Yes, the 20th. Start. On yes. the 20th. Wow. Yeah, but I, I am going to be so busy because we are going to have a race. In a race? Company. A race? Race, yes. Oh, the race that you yes. mentioned, right? Yeah, but that it is... It is resp social responsibility in my company because all funds is going to are go going to, to are going to go to hospital to the hospital yes yes to help to the um, pedi pediatric area of uh, Bloom no Santana National Santana. oh yeah yeah San Juan you de mentioned Dios. yes San Juan de Dios yeah. uh, my ex my ex uh sister-in-law my ex sister-in-law uh is a doctor there at san juan de dios really yeah her name is elsie elsie Arely. what was her last name oh my god i forgot i can not remember her last name she's she's amazing she's a nice person she's a very beautiful person elsie hey, my my teacher my my oldest kid is going to have practice in the hospital now. Man, three it's three more years. Fourth. Four more years. Yes. No, it's no. Not... He's he is in his fourth years. So he's missing four. Yes. Yeah, because it is yeah, the rest of it is, yes, eight, eight, eight years. Does he like watching series like Doctor House or Gift the Tens? Yes. Yes. He likes to to watch it. There is a there is a movie with Cuba Downing Jr. I think it's called ah, Gifted yes. Hands. Have you seen that movie? Yes. The first black doctor who operates um, uh, a baby's heart, a baby's heart. That was crazy. I mean, the way he was raised, memorizing, practicing memory exercises. That was wow. Really cool. Yes. Hey, so the nice. first the first match is USA versus Wales. You say oh, I'm talking you, about... <laughs> about the match. <laughs> uh, but that, that there it says Monday. Monday, uh, November 21st. Maybe because of the, the time difference, right? Let me see. 
I don't know. I lost my 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 teacher. When mm -hmm. if if I am going to talk about the World Cup, can I can I say, for example, schedule of horarios? Yeah, the schedules. Schedule. Mm -hmm. I always was I was confused with this word because in my company there are a a position that is scheduler. Schedule. Scheduler. 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 Uh huh. But they all I I I don't I didn't entendía. I didn't understand mm -hmm. because uh, scheduler scheduler. But when I start to study uh, study in English, schedule. Uh, but pero es un asignador. Yeah, he's the one in charge of assigning the schedules. You also have a position um, in call centers at least. It's called workforce management. Workforce management. So they manage the workforce. And that's a more difficult job because they have to calculate how many employees they need for they each need season. To... That's a real I, job. I, this season, I guess, that is going to be hard for call center because they are going to be so busy receiving, for example. Haven't you noticed? Calls. Haven't you noticed that every Christmas season they have a lot of posts on Facebook and they offer, right now, my company is offering $1,000 as a welcome bonus. That's a lot of money. So if you get hired, they split those thousand dollars in in three months really yeah that's a hey, lot i just i just received by an email by email uh, uh I, I don't i don't remember this this email but they they told me about about if i i i remember i told you that um i received information if i i have experience about call center but oh really <laughs> Yes, that's good. But I, I, I don't know. I've never, I never, nunca me veo. I, have, I, I cannot I see. I don't see myself. I don't see myself. Ah, okay. Uh, working as a, as a, I don't know, in call center because as an agent. <laughs> yes, but today I receive an information about that, but I don't know. Tomorrow, maybe I'm going to answer them. Well, it's been my pleasure, Wilfredo. We will continue talking about the World Cup. <laughs> okay, okay. I am going to be ready because I, my children, they always say, hey, Daddy, we, 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 need, to, we need to prepare some snack to, to start. They want to watch the um, inaugura inauguration. Yes, opening. the opening, opening of the games. Yes. yes. The because I, I I guess that it's going to be a big show. <laughs> yeah. Always they prepare a big show. To, it's going to be a to huge start. show. Well, yeah. it's been my pleasure. Hope you have a nice night. Wilfredo, have some rest. Okay, teacher. First of all, too. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.